Hey guys, how are you? So, as you know, I just came back from a hemithyroidectomy surgery and I just found out today from my surgeon that the nodule that they took out from my left thyroid is not cancerous. So, it's very good news and I felt so inspired after hearing that. So, I decided to put on some color to my face. So, if you want to know how I was able to pull this look, keep on watching. We'll start by priming our eyelids and I just use the eye primer from Morphe and just using a brush to apply that all over my eyelid. Using the James Charles palette from Morphe, I started using the spooky shade from the palette and I just use that to line my lashes and then after that i use the shade escape from the same palette and i just use that on the outer corner of my eyelid and on those outer v so i just loaded my crisp brush with that escape shade i always start by forming the shape first so I'm that's how I always start with my eyeshadow and then I'll just keep on what I'm doing here is I'm just really stomping the the shade into my the outer corner of my lid because I really want that concentration of color on that end of my lid and I just keep building and building until I'm happy with it Just doing the same thing on the other side of my eye, doing the lines first on the outer V and then start patting the colors in and keep building and building until I'm happy with it. Now using a crisp brush from Sephora, the double ended 205, I just dip my brush into Love That Shade and then I'm just going on top of that outer corner, just the top and the sides of that outer corner and just trying to blend it. And then I'm going to concentrate on that end and then I'm gonna work my way in towards the inner corner, just on the um, crease. And then also in that middle where the end of that deep um, purple that we did earlier just to blend it and try to remove the harsh line and I'll keep on going back with the other side of my brush where I use the escape shade just to deepen that color and yeah now I'm I'm using the love that shade just to blend that end of the escape shade just so I don't have that harsh line and then I'll continue doing this and then working my way into my inner crease with whatever is left in my crease brush using a clean crease brush I dip my um, brush into single shade and just concentrating into that inner corner up to the middle of my eyelid and I really went higher here I really wanted to touch the eyebrows it's up to you if you don't want to do it but that's what I'm really aiming for for this look I really want to feel all those um, with colors using an angled brush from Scott Barnes I just lined my lower lash line and then I use a pencil brush just to smudge it and smoke it. I also use a um, eyeliner pencil from NARS to line my waterline. And then I went back into my crisp brush with that love that shade and just doing my lower lash line connecting 
the outer lid and the lower lash line then just using a flat flat fluffy brush dipping it into singles and then just buffing the lower lash line as well just to give that smoke effect and to blend it in as well Now just using my Morphe eye primer to cut the crease. Using Scott Barnes palette and a flat brush, a detailed brush, I just dip it into promiscuous, actually I think it's meant to be promiscuous shade. And then just putting it all over my eyelid where I did the cut crease. then without loading any more product into my crisp brush I just use it to blend that promiscuous and that love that shade into that outer corner always check and see if you've got enough if you feel like you don't have enough you can always go back and put some more of the shades that we've mentioned earlier it's really now up to you how you're going to finish this look so I just kept on going back until I was happy with it. So here is now our final look. I opted not to put any lashes, but you can, I mean the false lashes, but you can do that. I just couldn't do it because I'm still not allowed to extend my, my um, head backwards because of the surgery. But you can always do that and I think it would really look good with that false lashes on with this look. So I hope you guys love this video. And this look that we've done for today and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please click that subscribe button and the bell next to that so you can be notified every time we post a new video until next time guys see you next Tuesday bye <music>